So a while ago, I was introduced to a UI library that was different from all other UI libraries. And that's Shard CN because it's as simple as copy and paste. So the first thing you need to do is to go to ui.shardcn.com. You'll be greeted with this page of what you can build with Shard CN. You can build a responsive mail service front end. You can even have a dashboard. You also have cards. You have tasks where you can filter out the tasks. You have a playground if you're building an AI playground, or you can even get the whole form where you can work with different types of forms or front-end application, which has different features. But that's not all. To build all this out, you guys can easily copy and paste this into your project, like I said before. So let's try and set up ShardCN on the next year's project. And you can do the same with React. You can also do the same with Laravel. You might have different steps here and there, but you can always come to this documentation and check it out. So let's go to the docs, go to installation, and you can see all the installation, different types of installations over here. We're going to use Next.js in this example. So I'll click Next.js. And here you can copy all these commands over here. But I'm going to be using pnpm if you're using bond you can select with bond here but i'll be using pnpm today you can use npx if you're using npm let's paste in the command and run it in the terminal this is going to help us scaffold our project once that's done let's go into the project run the project so you can see it's just a basic next.js project that we've just built out back in the shard cns docs what we need to do is go to the second step and run the ShardCN CLI. This is going to initialize ShardCN and it's also going to do a couple of things. So we're going to say we want the default. It's going to ask us for its color scheme. I'm going to say slate. And then it's going to ask us if we want to use CSS variables or not. I'm going to say no. Cool. So this has set up ShardCN and it did a couple of things for us. It created our component folder, which is empty for now. It also created a lib folder for us and this lib folder contains a utils file. Otherwise, you had to do this manually. The next thing it did was it also created a component.json file. All it does is to set up our ShardCN. Another thing ShardCN did for us was to modify the tailwind.config.ts file. And the reason I'm explaining all this to you guys is so you understand how this works and how you're able to copy and paste this code into your application and how you can even modify this in case you have to. We're not going to do step four because there really is no need to set up a font. And then we just need to look at the folder structure. Whenever we add a new ShardCN component, it's going to add them into the UI folder or the UI directory. Let's add a button to our application and try and see how it works. Again, I'm going to copy this command and then paste that command in. So this is going to set up a ShardCN button for us. Our button has been set up and you can see now we have our UI folder and then we have the button component. You can go into the button component and you can customize it however you like. For example, you could add your default colors and then you can use that default color. I mean, this is code that someone else wrote. And just by looking at it, you can build a component with ShardCN and you can extend the component. Let's try and add the button component to our Next.js application. So in the app directory, Let's locate the page.tsx. This is going to be our home page component. So whenever we hit the home route, it's going to show up here. Don't worry if you don't know much about Next.js. This is not a Next.js tutorial. This is just to show you how to set up ShardCN in Next.js on any other project, right? So let's go here. Let's clean off this main. Let's add the button here. And let's save it and see what happens. And you can see we have a nice looking button from ShardCN. Let's go back into the docs and look at some of the components and how we can add them. Let's go to the button components. You can change the way the button behaves and you can change the color, you can view the code and you can just copy this button over here, place this button here. And just like that, we should have a destructive button. Let's go back into the ShardCN docs. So let's build a date pickup very quickly. We need the popover and we need the calendar component. So let's look for those components. First thing we want is the popover component. So we just need to install this popover component. And then let's copy out the calendar component. So copy PNPM. And once this is done, paste in the next one for the calendar component. With this tool installed in the project, I'm just going to come in here into the code 
and then just click on copy. So this is going to be a client component because the user is going to interact with this component. And then we're going to go into our components here. Let's go into the UI. We're going to create our component. Let's call this datepicker.tsx. And then we just paste in that code we got from ShatCN. So this is going to be our entire datepicker component. And you can see it's called datepicker demo. So let's rename that to datepicker. Let's save it and let's render this date picker component. And just like that, we have a date picker component that is not only beautiful, but also accessible. We can even use a keyboard to control it. So we don't have to build all these functionalities from scratch. Another thing we can do, we can copy the entire block. What do I mean by that? Let's go back into the docs, click on the blocks over here. So we're going to go in here and click on code. And I'm just going to copy every single thing here. So we're going to say copy code under the components here. Let's create a new file. Let's call this payment dashboard.tsx. So we'll paste that entire code in. Bam. And we have 700 lines of code that you did not write a single line. You can see we have a lot of errors here in the code. Don't worry about that. This just means that these components haven't been installed create a component let's call it payment dashboard component and let's render it on the screen we can see you have a full dashboard but you guys can see how we build this out so 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 easily so if you come to blocks for the shards and component you can copy and paste blocks into your code you will come over here and you click on lift mode and lift mode allows you to copy each of the components individually so we could copy this just one component so I'll just create a new component here. Let's call this payment list component.tsx. And let's go in here and paste that code in here. Let's name it to the components we want. And this is a payment list component. So it's going to be exported. Let's go into the homepage and we want to import it. So don't forget to import that. And you can see we have a list of all the payment, but that's not all. So back in the blocks, if you look here, you'll see this button that says V0. Once you click on it, it's going to set up a V0 project for you. And that is awesome. In case you guys don't know, V0 is a platform that lets you create UI components or UI with just AI prompts. So you can write a few prompts and then you can update or modify this component on the screen. Let's try and add an avatar from a simple prompt. Now we have an avatar. It even took the first name and last name to create those avatars. So the first name, last name, which is L and J for Liam Johnson. It did that. Olivia Smith, OS, Noah Williams, NW. This is how cool this is. If you wanted to change the color, you could do that. You could write a prompt to change the color. You can even write a prompt to add more things here. And just like that, we've added some stats to the screen. What if we even wanted to add a chart to each stats? Just like that, guys, we've been able to build all this out. I'm just going to copy this component over here and I'll just paste that command in here. Cool. Now, if you go into this component over here, not the components with the S, but the components, you'll see we now have our pro dashboard and then we'll just import that in Let's save it and let's check it out. All right, cool. So we have our charts in our local host. Of course, you probably want to change this image and all that stuff, but I really hope this video has helped somebody out. And if you guys are using any other UI library, let me know in the comment section. I always try to reply in comments. Thanks so much, guys, for watching this video. If you guys would like to see more videos like this, please let me know. Until next time, I'll see you guys in the next video.